Right now we have a very special guest on set with us, 2009 Collegiate World Series champion, reigning SEC tournament champion, LSU baseball head coach, the list goes on. Head coach Fulminari, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you Great for coming to be in. with you all. You're very welcome. I'm He's glad to be here. taking his time out of his busy recruiting schedule to visit with us. We really appreciate it. Hey, it's wonderful to, what you guys do. This is a great laboratory for you all to, to work on your skills, and uh, I'm happy to help, really. You know, we're all on this in this together, so we're recruiting players, we're helping students, and I'm happy to be here with you. Awesome. Love, love awesome. to hear that. Well, first off, Coach, i got to ask, are you excited about the football game? Are you a big football <laughs> fan? What are you expecting today? Rachel, there's not a bigger football fan on this campus than I am, I can promise you, and an uh, LSU football fan. I love it. Uh, you know, I'm a, a former high school football player that wasn't good enough to play in college, so I live vicariously through Les and the players out there now. And uh, I just love the excitement of Tiger Stadium. I love to watch the tailgating. The, right. Just the energy on campus is fantastic. It is something very, very special. Here. Well, you may not have been good enough to be on high school football, but I think you've done okay for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're okay. Uh, but we'll talk more about the game in a minute. Coach, uh, we just wanted to congratulate you on your contract being extended an extra year through 2018. You're here for the long haul. That's the plan. I hope so. You know, we, this will be my eighth year now here at LSU, my 32nd as a college coach. I'm giving away my age now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I hope uh, we can do these next five years and hopefully even more than that. I'd love to finish my career here at LSU. I've been very blessed, had some wonderful opportunities throughout my coaching career, had, had uh, you know, opportunities to coach at three other outstanding institutions. But I saved the best for last with LSU. So hopefully we can finish our career here. Hopefully. Awesome. awesome. Well, uh, last year, your baseball team, you guys are coming off the best regular season in school history. You won the SEC tournament, but maybe didn't end the way end the season the way you would have liked. How does this shape your mentality in the offseason going into next year? Well, let me, let me say this. You know, we were this close from having a season for the ages. Uh, we had 57 wins before we went to the College World Series in Omaha. That had never happened before at LSU. We only had nine losses, single digit losses, and that had never happened before. But as you know, we went up to Omaha, we lost a couple of close games, and it left, left a very bitter taste in your mouth. You know, around LSU, the goal is to win the last game of the right. year and hold the trophy up above your head. And anytime you fall short of that, you're gonna be disappointed. People have to realize in the illustrious history, though, of LSU baseball, it's only happened six times. You know, sometimes we think it's happened, you know, 30 or 40 times, it's happened six times. So it's very difficult, but you got to be good. you got to be good at the right time, and you also have to have a little luck. And last year we had a really good team, and most of the time we were good at the right time. But when we went to Omaha, we, you know, we, we just, you know, self-destructed a little bit, and we had a little bit of bad luck, and because of that we fell a little bit short of our goal. But I'll tell you this, I think we're going to have another great group of kids put together this year. Uh, I'm excited about it. You know, at the beginning of the year, you feel like you're handed a big pile of clay, and as the sculptor of that clay, it's my responsibility to build something beautiful, and, and that's the exciting thing for me. You know, we've got a lot of new players this year. We lost a lot of players off our team last year, but I think they're going to work together. I think we're going to put together a really good ball club, and it'll be a lot of fun come springtime. Well, Coach, we're going to keep talking in a sec, but right now the uh – the band, well, they're still coming down, so we're going to keep talking, but uh, <laughs> sorry about that. So you did mention some of the talent uh, that you, you've you been sculpting with the clay, but you did lose some senior talent, Mason Katz, Ray Frimes, Jacoby Jones, some great guys, yeah. but your underclassmen did get some experience last season. Do you think they have what it takes to step up and replace a very strong graduating class? Well, you know, we when, when we went to um, Omaha last year, when we finished in Omaha, we lost seven of our top 11 pitchers, so that would be the biggest priority we have. But we start with a guy named Aaron Nola, so that's not a bad place to start, the reigning SEC Pitcher of the Year and a consensus All-American. As you mentioned, we lost Katz and Rhymes and some really good players in our everyday lineup, but we do return Alex Bregman, who was a National Freshman of the Year, so it's a pretty good place to start. So now the key is really to fill in around those two mainstays, and I think we will. I think we've got a good core of guys coming back with Stevenson and Laird, McMullen, etc. And like I said, Nola will lead the pitching staff. We've got a lot of work to do this fall, but I'm sure we're going to put it together well. All right, Coach, if you can just hold on one second, we're going to go ahead and see the Golden Band from Tigerland just came down Victory Hill. Let's take a look. Is that the time they were supposed to come? Oh, it's oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
and you just love to hear the sounds of the Golden Man from Tigerland. Those four notes, nothing gets you more excited. I'll tell you what, it's really, puts, even at my age, it, it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up, I'll tell you. It's, a, it's exciting. I can't wait to see the band come in the, in the pregame show and see the Tigers take the field. What an exciting moment that is for the coaches and players come running through that tunnel with 93,000 people cheering them on. We've got to start getting a band at the baseball games now. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Now, Coach, let's talk about today's game in specific. Is there anything you're really looking forward to in specific, and what are you expecting out of the Tigers today? I was importantly? really impressed with Mettenberger last week. I thought it was the best game we've seen him play. Not only was he putting the ball right on the money, the biggest thing I saw was he was completing those third down passes. You know, that's right. kind of like a hitter hitting in the clutch or a pitcher getting out of a jam. And when you complete those third down passes, it shows great leadership, great confidence, great poise. And that's what we need out of Zach. And he, he displayed it last week. If he can do that on a consistent basis, he'll lead this team to something significant this year and put himself in a good position, I bet, for the NFL draft. So let's get a prediction from you for today's game. You got a score idea for us? <laughs> I don't predict scores. I just want to see us score at least one point more than the other team, and I think we'll do that. You heard it here first, <laughs> one point more than UAP. Coach Maneri, thank you so much for taking the time to come on our show. Best of luck this coming season. We really appreciate it. Really nice to be with Thanks you guys. Thanks so much. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Okay.